Welcome to clickmyprojects.com. Now we are going to see the paper regarding spectrum aware mobility management in cognitive radio cellular networks. Okay. Nowadays, mobile computing has reached its sky by its remarking outcomes of services. The emerging ubiquitous pers pervasive applications in video streaming sensor networks are expected to have dominating the shape in the for the next generation in mobile computing systems. What is the most critical aspect needs? It is is the mobility management it is perceived to provide continuous quality of services even available anywhere anytime the perspective is that services must be available anywhere at any time now we have seen the basic aspects after that we are going to see what is given in the paper this is wireless spectrum Actually, wireless spectrum is regulated by the government agencies, which is assigned to license holders or services on long-term basis over the wider geographical areas. But as per availability of vast spectral frequency, there are many wastage also. In the sense, there is a high utilization with equal amount of wastage of frequencies. In order to address these kinds of problem, the FCC, called the Federal Commission, uh, Communication Commission has recently given approval for using unlicensed devices in licensed bands. Hence, that came CR users involvement. Hence, the basic phenomenon lies on unlicensed users, also called as CR users, who share the license spectrum without interfering with the transmission of other licensed users, known as primary users. If the band is found to be occupied by the licensed user, the CR user will be moving to another spectrum hole to avoid the interference, which is referred as spectrum mobility. What is spectrum handoff? Continuous availability of services and handoff procedures. Actually, there are two types of handoff of procedures one is proactive and classical as per proactive schemes the CR users predict the future availability based on the past history of the channels and next one lies on the thing that uh, it they will there will be switching switching over okay there will be switching over will be occurring in order to minimize the disruptions among the primary users Hence, initially we are having the environmental setup. After that, we'll be having the thing called inter-resource allocation. So, what we'll be doing means initially we are in need to have those PU activity monitoring, and after that we'll be finding the expected capacity of the spectrum. At okay, what is the purpose means? CR users will be using the IR, I mean inter-resource allocation via having all those capacities in the sense ca capacity of each and every cells, uh, and after that estimating those bands, uh, and after that. Uh, uh, proper allocation will be that is res, uh, proper resource allocation will be done uh, so we are in need to estimate the cap expected capacity of the spectrum and after the reliability of the spectrum and after that the expected gain ratio and after that uh, we are in need to have the thing called spectrum handoff for that we are in need to estimate the primary user activity in the extended area we are in need to find those probabilities okay uh, we are in need to find first of all uh, pu activities and all that okay after that capacity overload in the extended area okay what should be uh, transferred and all and after that we are in need to estimate the capacity overload in the base area and after that we are in need to estimate the switching cost over both uh, base area as well as the extended area that is uh, we will be getting the unique uh, i mean unified uh, switching cost so hence all these things that is uh, inter, inter resource allocation spectrum mobility management spectrum handoff schemes and user management schemes are interconnected because cash should be taken in all these scenarios and proper handoff schemes must be measured so these this is the preliminary concept of this particular research work okay initially we are in need to open the net beans and after that you are being provided the database called spectrum okay and after that you are in need to click the thing called initialize dot java and after that you are in need to start running the coding okay uh, this is spectrum formation and this is the extended areas and after that we are going to implement our project that is we are what is set in the paper okay and next is we are we are need to choose a channel so pool one is consisting of 60 channels similarly for pool two i am just tuning that thing called uh, so pool 2 is consisting of 57 channels similarly for pool 3 i am just tuning and it is consisting of 51 channels and similarly for pool 4 it is consisting of this that is 44 number 44 channels and after that you are in need to create the thing called attributes okay so there are some certain attributes that is transmission range spectrum bands and channels and channel gains of users and after that 
here you need to estimate hand also okay if before that cap expected capacity is being found that is e expected capacity that, that is reliability of each band for each cell see for cell 19 each and everything is being determined and after that cells expected gain ratio is being determined and after that this is for cells expected that is capacity expected capacity of overall gain ratio and after that spectrum handoff is determined that is intracell and intrapool handoff and intracell and intrapool handoff intracell and intrapool handoff intracell and intrapool handoff intra 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 and after that user selection is done user selection for that unused number of channels that is for cell zero this much unused channels are there and after that cell selection probability is determined and then highest weighting cell weighted uh, is being determined and after that the graph is being plotted okay so this is the graph okay and after that we are in, we are going to estimate the cell which is containing the largest uh, cell highest cell selection value okay so it is from cell 1 having the pool 3 okay and after that uh, you need to mention the sensing period that is 0 0.1 is a sensing period and activity that is uh, how much number of activities means uh, for example for 2 if I mean uh, if I'm giving for 2 means what is the and I'm going to select the particular cell for cell 4 I'm going to establish the I'm going to establish the related things that is uh, switching cost PU activity in the cell 2 that is cell 4 and then capacity overload in the cell 4 that is its ex external area and the base area and after that the related things are being estimated see see this is the probability that no user that is no primary users can be detected during R periods okay for cell 4 the, what is R periods means this 2 indicates the R periods okay and after that uh, uh, probability of intercell and interpool due to PO activity is determined in this manner and after that capacity for that capacity I'm going to find the transition probability that is idle to idle state idle to busy state idle busy to idle state probability busy to busy state probability and after that the ideal probabilities are um, uh, particularly determined and after that user probability okay we are going to uh, so these are the corresponding things so everything is done for capacity overloading for cell 4 okay and after that busy probability ideal probability and probability of user okay next is cell probability okay probability of cell overload is done and its cost is estimated that is 1.25 is the probability of the cell overload at cost and after that probability of intracell and intra interpool in EA and after this capacity overload in base area we are going to estimate this probability in capacity overload in the base area after that probability of user switching is done and after that uh, probability of intracell and interpool switching cost is calculated switching cost for EA and switching cost for BA is calculated so in this way you can just find those uh, estimation that is concerned probabilities of the cells Thank you.